Schools are failing to stretch their brightest students by setting tests that are too easy. A report by the school's regulator Ofsted says the coalition has made little progress in developing academic high flyers. This from Joanna Simpson. Hi, I'm Owen. I'm a neurite and I'm a computer entrepreneur. I want to become a doctor when I'm older. When I'm older, I'd like to be an author. This group is some of the brightest young pupils at Drayton Manor High School where they're continuing to reach their full potential. But England Schools Inspectorate Ofsted says many like them aren't being supported correctly. This school in London says regardless of a pupil's background, they're taught to be respectful and have high aspirations. It's stretching me because my mind, I can feel expanding as I'm learning different, different subjects. Challenging the most able in their first few years, this head teacher says is key to helping them excel. We try and make sure that our students have this breadth of experience and we teach valuable subjects, the things that are really important that employers are looking for. Drayton Manor High School has been identified by Ofsted as one of four best practice schools for the way they stretch their most able pupils. But the school's inspectorate says thousands of pupils across England are being let down as their schools don't have such high expectations for what they can achieve. The survey found more than a quarter of those who showed very strong potential in English and maths aged 11 didn't achieve a grade B at GCSE as their needs are not being prioritised. Ofsted is disappointed recommendations it made two years ago are still not being implemented as schools it says are being complacent. It's not just frustrating for Ofsted, it's frustrating for those young people, it's frustrating for their parents and ultimately it's frustrating for the country because, you know, an equal society, um, we will make a more equal society if these children do as well as they should. Here stretching students allows them to grasp knowledge in the hope they may become the leading minds of the future. Joanna Simpson, Sky News.